Hey guys, welcome to this uh, Android tutorial. What we're going to do today is that we're going to learn how to make an Android virtual device so we can run our applications. Now, uh, this is a sample project uh, that I have over here. It's a Hello World application. Uh, now, what is an Android virtual device? This is, this is bas basically an uh, emulator so we can emulate, uh, for example, a smartphone or a tablet in our um, machine so we can run apps and uh, uh, see the output of an application without actually having a physical device so for that what uh, what we're going to need is that we're going to go to this icon over here uh, which is uh, basically the Android Virtual Device Manager go ahead and click on this icon and you will see a window which is this one over here uh, where we can uh, basically create uh, virtual devices for example so I'm going to, de to delete uh, some device over here so we can create a new one now for creating a new device you need to click on the new button over here and uh, you will need to fill out a name I'm going to type in device 1 and after you uh, design um, I mean after, after you say that this device is going to be called device 1 you can select uh, like a template for your device uh, so this is basically uh, the dimensions that you want to use in this uh, virtual device for example if you want to use uh, the dimensions of uh, the Nexus 4 uh, which is uh, 4.7 inches and basically the resolution is this one you see over here you can just click on it or you can select a tablet for example which is a 10 inch uh, tablet uh, Nexus 10 or select another configuration you can select for example Nexus 4 and after selecting the um, dimensions uh, um, based on these templates you can se select uh, the target uh, operative system for example Android 4.4 uh, that will be KitKat and after that uh, you can just uh, select for example the front camera you can emulate it or you can select your webcam and you can also manipulate the RAM in your device for example if I want to have uh, 1 gig of RAM I will type in 1000 because this is in megabytes and um, the internal storage uh, 200 megabytes that would be fine SD card uh, no I don't want so I won't uh, I won't type anything here and you can just click OK so after you do this you will have a virtual device that you can use to deploy your Android applications now, do, now that you have the device you can close in this window and you can run um, your project for example a hello world project you can go ahead and click on run application and a um, pop-up window is going to come over so let's wait a little bit uh, while gravel is building our application and you will see here choose a running device now this is a physical device that I have plugged in uh, via USB however you can click on launch emulator so we can run our application in an Android virtual device like the one we just made that that would be device 1 so go ahead and click device 1 and click in OK and basically uh, we're going to wait a little bit over here because we need to uh, wait for the to load and after that we will need to wait uh, for it to run the application now this is our device as you can see it is booting uh, Android uh, KitKat so we will have to wait a little bit uh, for it uh, what well, you know to load the operative system um, but basically when this is uh, fully uh, loaded you can run your applications again for example I could type in um, the play uh, button over here and when you run the application the window that appears and that lets you select in which device to run your application uh, it will now uh, give you the option to select uh, the emulated device for example this will be emulator device 1 and you can see that it is uh, running an Android 4.4, AP19, and that it is online over here. Online, well, relatively online because it <laughs> it hasn't booted yet. 
uh, but you can click on that and click on OK and eventually when this loads you can see the application running in the device now this takes a little bit of time uh, for me I think it takes more because I'm uh, recording this and I think that uh, I require some processing so that's uh, a reason why this is loading so slow uh, however that is basically how you do this now we can't <laughs> see the application running so I'm going to fast forward this video so you can see it okay guys so it finally seems that uh, the emulator just loaded it took like uh, forever uh, I really recommend deploying applications on a physical device on an actual Android device however well that is not possible right now um, and it's also not the intention of this video but we can now see how we can run an application on the emulator device 1 over here that we just created clicking OK and just wait uh, for uh, Android Studio to install the application Well, uh, we wait uh, for it to build the application and install it and over here we can see my application and hello world um, so that's pretty much it I hope you guys like this tutorial on how to set up an Android uh, virtual device so you can start making your own applications um, although you can uh, always use this, uh, the device, uh, the virtual device, uh, to deploy application on uh, different uh, devices, for example, smartphones, tablets of different sizes. I recommend uh, to use always um, actual physical devices. However, when that is not possible, you will need to use this, and that is also what uh, we're going to use for the tutorial. So you can also see the applications running in uh, the computer and you can I don't know like make uh, some examples and try out some stuff so that's it um, we'll see you in the next tutorial see you later bye bye